Hi. Hello. And welcome back to Impending Doom Crisis 2, Electric Boogaloo, Valhalla Edition. We made some money, we made some cash, it was quick and easy on the last one, and let's finish off Wednesday with a bang, so to speak. And get right back into it and see what this day holds for us. Will we make enough to counterbalance the purchases? Will I actually have interactions that mean anything except for rehashing old things? Will someone come in and inevitably ruin my day? Let's find out, shall we? It's less chilly today. Jukebox, get out of here. <laughs> oh. Well, they shouldn't be. Jill, the kid's looking for you. Which kid? A lot of kids showed up back to back. I need to know which one, because Gabby isn't supposed to meet me till the 31st, after the party. Oh, shit. Oh, it's Norma. It's fake ID girl. Okay, good. Hey. Ah. Oh. Norma. Phew. Glad it's just that. You're back. Anna, get out of here. Leave her alone. She's a child. Move. Go. Can I click and drag you away? No. <laughs> You're just here forever. Oh, fuck you. You do know that I'm not giving you any drinks, right? Crap. I said it out loud. Y yeah, I'm, I'm actually... I, I wanted to thank you. Phew. Oh, she thought it was for her. Thank me? Well, for starters, by not complying and giving me alcohol. Everything else would have fallen apart if I had some. Oh, so responsible, Joe. Shut it! Is this gonna be a common thing now? You just hear every day? I kind of faced my mom and told her all about the pressure she was putting on me. And said I wanted to figure out what I wanted to do. And? Well, she didn't speak to me for two days. After that, she told me that I'd be a waste to spend money in a university just for me to give it all up. Just for me to not give it my all. So she told me to still go to the college course, but that I was free to explore. Glad to hear it. Good. Well, I wanted to thank you for that. Me? I did absolutely nothing. I, I didn't do shit. But thank you. Thank you. I'm glad I could glad I could help you out with, with whatever the hell you're talking about. I only even remember, I'm gonna be honest. You I gave you some life advice, I'm sure, and then I, I I told you to not, you know, get shit faced when you're like 14 or whatever you are. If I just rushed at first into my original plan, things would have gotten ugly. And you're right, I would be hurting her for the sake of hurting. So thank you. Don't worry about it. Anytime. I'll leave before it's too late outside. Be careful. Oh, so sweet. Shut up. Hey, Jill, mind helping me here? Sure. Anything to get away from this. Make a bleeding Jane, please. On it. A bleeding Jane for Gil. You got it, bud. What are you doing over there? What's happening on your side of the bar? Do you have a ghost over there, too, talking to you? Uh, bleeding into your ear like some kind of eldritch fucking song of the damned? And threatening to... To declose all your friends? Could she even do that? I doubt she could. She's all talk. Bleeding Jane. Boink! Thanks. Hey, Joe. Do you hate me? Hate is a uh, harsh word. It's not against you directly, but rather the fact that only I can see you. Like I told you, if they wanted, they could see me. And why can I? You're the main character. Don't know. <laughs> All right, what are you? A cute girl. Right. You okay, Jill? Making a lot of faces there. Huh? Yeah, just remembering stuff. Now, mind your own business, Jill. Could you give me a hand here and serve a bar? Oh, beer, please. Sure. What are you doing? What's happening over there? Gil, are you all right? Why are you having such hard time? I've got no one over here but a ghost. Literally, an actual ghost is in the bar. And you're freaking out over there. I'm taking the money for these drinks, right? Like, I'm making them, so it's my money, right? That's how that works. Right? Please? A burr. There's your beer, bud. Thanks. Would you lighten up if I showed you I can interact with the environment? Maybe it'll spook me, but let's try. There. 
Can't see anything. What'd you do? You sure? Yep. Uh, everything looks exactly the same. Except for the TV has no signal, but that's because you're here. Yep. Weird. <laughs> oh, look who's feeling better. The Roomba's back. Nobody expects the Dorothy Inquisition. D Dor Dorothy Inquisition? Dor Dor Dorothy Inquisition? Dor Ouch. I, I biz my tongue. <laughs> I biz my zong. You can't bite your tongue. I'm pretty sure you're faking that. I, I'm 100% sure that your tongue is not that malleable. Can't believe I'm using the spare tongue so early in the night. <laughs> Honey. Ah. Hey, Dorothy. The only character that comes back every other episode, forever. I'm making a quick stop for a drink. Can I get a fluffy drink? Sure. Don't do anything. Don't look behind you. Don't even breathe. Fluffy drink? You got it. I like how everyone's being so upfront about things. 170? Not bad. I feel like I've made more drinks in this past few days, or this past few episodes than I ever have before. You're just getting one, probably. Aged and mixed. Boink. Boink. I... Just hope that I have enough money. That's all I need. That's all I want. But that thing was so expensive, so... Maybe boss will slip me a 500 and it'll even out. Here's hoping. Maybe boss will slip me something else. Like $500. All right. There you go. Boink. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Before you leave... What? Are you guys throwing in New Year's party, too? Yep. Sure. I'll be here then. Oh, nothing to say, Anna? You're all- you're speechless suddenly? Well, I've got things to do, so... You do? You're a ghost! Who does what? Sorry, I sneeze. Weird sneeze. Anyway, I'm out for now. Oh, yeah, Joe? Take care of Becky, please. Becky? Dorothy? How do you know that? Are you just floating around? Are you hacking the security cameras? Where are you? What's going on with you? Man, she was in a rush. Okay, fuck that noise. <laughs> the boss is back from the firecracker thing. Uh, did you not get firecrackers? What's that? What's that, Dana? You found $500? You found $1,000 and you're just giving it to me? Dana, thank you. It means a lot to me. Fireworks are sold out everywhere. I'll need to get through more shady means. <laughs> She's gonna buy them from the internet. She'll find them and put us all in risk of burning. I'll make sure there's an extra extinguisher at hand. Please. Well, I guess that's it for the day. Are you serious? That's it for the day? That's it? Hey, we're flying through this. You sure you're fine? I am. Don't worry. Hey, Jill, mind if I ask a silly question? You've seen my clients. You can assume I don't mind silly questions. Silly answers can get on my nerves, though. Sorry, what do you want to ask? Do you know why they call them cat boomers? No, I thought that was just a joke. Do, do people actually call them cat boomers? Because that's strange. I mean, I guess their second set of ears look like cats, but... The word boomer seems so out of place. Not so much that you consider it's not them, but their parents who were called such. Oh. Let's go a bit back first. You know why cat boomers look like that, right? Because they went through some anti-nanomachine rejection treatment while they're still a fetus, right? Yeah, that explains the cat ears. Mm -hmm. It's all coming together. It's not an anime thing at all. It's definitely because of that. It's called the Yamazaki Romanova treatment. Or was it the Romaniko Yamada treatment? The Roma... Uh, let's call it the catification procedure. It was not only the first successful genetic treatment on a fetus, but also the first way to fight nanomachine rejection. Moreover... Moreover, there's that word again. Someone really found that word. So the writers of this game really fucking opened a thesaurus and they were like, this one, this is what we want. More of this. Moreover of this, please. Moreover, that research had a bit of a rocky start. Funding got cut in the middle of it at a critical point that could make or break the whole thing. Not to mention Zabatsu Corp's record of not addressing nanomachine rejection at all. 
The rest of the research was funded by Maki Stangovich. Was it Stangovich? Let's call him Stangovich for now. He's a businessman whose unborn daughter got diagnosed with early nanomachine rejection. Stangovich funded the research, and in a desperate move, his wife offered herself and her daughter as test subjects. Of course, the experiment was a success. The girl, Sylvia Stankovich, didn't die. She became the living testament of scientific breakthrough. But then, the story of how things played out for Sylvia got sensationalized and the media created a weird fad. Parents made their unborn children go through the catification procedure, even if they had no ailments at all. All because one particular girl, whose life got saved through the treatment, became a media darling for a bit. Whole generation of kids with those cat-like protrusions got born. And their parents got called cat boomers? Generation of parents obsessed with those cat-like features. The fad quickly passed, but the term remained in use. Eventually, cat boomer just started being used for people with the protrusions instead of their parents. You keep calling them protrusions. Why is that? Because that's what they are? Huh? What? What is happening? So they're just, they're not real ears? They are real ears. They're 100% real ears. I watched Stella flick them and use them. She has muscles up there. I don't know how this all works. So she does have real ears too. She's got two sets of ears? Stella can probably hear me from here. I'm also very loud though, so. You didn't think those things on her head were ears, right? Sure, they can be moved because they're somehow connected to the facial. <laughs> somehow. They're somehow. The game's not even going to try to describe it either. Like, somehow. Science. Whatever. Connected to the facial and ear muscles. Thus, they can move like a cat's and react to their mood. But in the end, they're just appendages with no real function. Huh. It still surprises me a bit, though, that the biggest mutation they get after the treatment is just that. Those ears are, small, are a small miracle on their own. People have been born with no eyes for less intrusive procedures. You really thought they were functional ears, huh? So did I, Gil. So don't feel bad about that. I thought it was an anime cat girl thing. And then this game just tries to explain it away. And now it's trying to make me feel bad about them having a niche and doing what they wanted to do with the art anyway. And I'm not taking it. I'm not buying it. Can't guilt trip me on this. Still is still great. Let's say I learned quite a bit today. Thank you. Don't worry, I feel like I should apologize for talking so much instead. And keep in mind, I'm fucking up the terms. I don't want you saying someone got protrusions because of catification procedure. I'll keep it in mind. Wait! What? Yeah, the guy's name was Stankovich! Eh. I just remembered, Celia Stankovich was around my age, and when I was a teen, there were some TV specials featuring her. And I just remembered that she had the... I just remembered that I had the biggest crush on her. Now that I think about it, that crush had me very confused back then. And did you need to shout just now? <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> In any case, I'm out for the day. Alright. Careful out there. Oh. Well. Those were the quickest two. We have to be getting close to the end. Those were very quick days. Those were very fast days. Hard hitting, fast, bartending, cyberpunk action. It's what this game promises. It's what I deliver to you. Oh, uh, we've, oh, we've done it. We've broken 10 grand, barely. And by the time we buy something for the next day, we will not have broken 10 grand, but mm, zero mistakes, perfect. All booze and no firecracker makes Dana a doll girl an extra 300. 10,068. 10,068 dollars. Mm. Chef's kiss. I think we might actually be able to do this. I think I might actually be able to win. I think I won't get evicted. I don't know about winning, but I'm not going to get evicted. Winning seems to be a stretch here, but we have to be getting close to the end. The writing seems to be stretching itself pretty thin at this point, so... Which, hey, more power to me, more power to you, more power to everyone involved. We're getting to the bottom of a lot of things, and now we know why the cat boomers are cat boomers. I guess. Protrusions, not ears. Next time you see someone in a Nico Nico or a cat girl outfit, just remind them. Those aren't their real ears. Those are just horrific, horrific protrusions on top of their little mutated heads. Soon, I can feel it. I can feel it coming. But, for Thursday, 
and the stunning conclusion of the week. You don't have to wait till next time. And thank you so much for watching and joining me on this adventure. And I'll see you then. Later. Later.